Okay, so final video is column ordering. Column ordering and hiding. So we need to probably create a new column ordering hiding. Yes, like this. Let's go hide this, hide this. Import column or during hiding from column ordering hiding. Whoops. Hi, okay. So what are we doing for column ordering and hiding? Let's have a look. So for column ordering, we do not need to import any hooks, but we need to create local state like this. Then naturally we need to bind it to column order column order yes then we want to on column order change so we want to bind it to this one here yeah so that's pretty much done to be honest with you because all you have to do now is All you have to do now is just call this function with anything you want and then it will work. So let's create a button, change order, and click, we're gonna invoke our function. Now uh, this one takes an argument which is an array and then the order in which you want the arrays to be in so let's say we want date to be first right so you put date and then you can put in whichever way you want them to be so let's say I don't know you want ID to be next no let's say we want email to be next email <clears throat> now one cool thing about it is that you can just put whichever one you want to be first right date for example and then like basically what happens in here is that when you specify columns and do not specify the rest what's going to happen is it's going to put date email first and then the rest as it was so you can think about it as a function that just slices array so it puts whatever order that you specified in the beginning and then spreads the rest as it was so now we're gonna have date email first and then everything the rest is gonna be um like this id first name last name right so i think that's about it so now what are we, we're going to have date and email first, right? <clears throat> yeah, so now you see date, email first, ID first and last name as it was. So we took this remainder and just spread it for you. So like, for example, if you want just email to be first, 
you can just put email only in the beginning and now you can see that email goes first and the rest is as it was okay makes sense so this is column ordering and now column hiding actually do you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make um, as a separate okay still works yeah everything is still work okay so this is done so now we're doing column hiding. Okay, so column hiding. How would you in column hiding? We do not need to import any hooks. I think we need to create column visibility state. So we just column visibility. Um, <clears throat> bind it again. State. So we can just copy and paste from here. Honestly, you can actually just do it like this because ES6 syntax is going to take care of it because essentially the key is the same as the value. So, but I prefer to do it this way to avoid confusing some people, you know, because not everybody likes this type of syntax. So, so next one is on column. Visibility change set column visibility change. We want this one here. Okay. So now we need to create toggle all. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it. So basically it's a gigantic input right so it's input we spread uh, so this is type checkbox check table instance and in table instance there is a um, it's like a getter function that returns either true or false right and then this controls whether the input is checked or not and then on change there is a getter function uh, that basically controls the state which is column visibility right so you you click the button it changes the state and as a result this changes and then that's it and then you'll be able to see we just need to import column hiding Import column hiding from column. Whoops. Column hiding. So this should be capitalized. Yeah, so you can see now we have all of them on, off, right? Okay, so for individual, we have basically exactly the same thing. Um, we can copy and paste this code here. 
Just put like HR here. Okay, so inside table influence, we can see get all leaf columns. So this will display uh, all columns, right? And in there, it's exactly the same thing where we have um, this one true or false per column. And this one controls the um, um, whether the column is visible or not. It's like a handler function. And here we have column ID. Should we do column ID? Oh, yeah, yeah. You need to do column ID because column ID is going to be the header ID, which is going to be whatever it is, like ID, date of birth, email, mail, whatever. Yeah, so you see, now we have this thing here, so we can disable, let's disable email, for example. And then that's it. And that's about it, that's the whole course. So congratulations, well done. Like and subscribe. And best of luck with your role. Take care, bye-bye.